Hi fun friends, this is Jan with Photography Makes and today I'm coming on to share a Saturday morning makes project. So um, I really, 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 really <laughs> wanted to make a uh, mailbox today. So I luckily found a mailbox SVG cut um, by Miss Mandy Designs and I made myself this really cute, quite large paper mailbox. Isn't this fun? So I use purple papers, I emboss the panels, and then this part slides off. Now I did make a mistake. As you can see, this peaks here, it should be rounded. And I think because I glued the tab on the outside versus the inside, it, it created like a, an arch shape. I know my camera's very close, but um, yeah. But you can put, gosh, you can put um, probably five by seven inch cards in here. Uh, let's see. I have uh, these little cards here, but these are um, A2 cards. Look at look how much room is in there. Look at you got a whole bunch of room. So yeah, you could definitely put like an embellishment box in here or whatever. But anyways, I really, really wanted to make <laughs> a mailbox. So I started decorating it and I've been putting some pieces together. So right now I have it, um, I have it glittered and I put on, um, it says gingerbread mail and I'm using, um, uh, a KS crafts die for this. And then the mail is the peppermint. Um, here's the dies here uh, from KS craft. It also has, um, kisses, um, I can't remember where the other ones are. Uh, sugar and spice. And I think it says gingy. And I don't know what this middle one is. But yes, those are the dyes. And then I'm also using the peppermint uh, word or peppermint letter dyes from Scrap Diva Design. I love this set. It's probably one of my favorites at the moment. So I made the mail. And oh, I have the embossing folder for that somewhere was this one that was on clearance at some point at Hobby Lobby and it's called linear leaves but it makes a really pretty it looks kind of like a sweater right that's what I thought anyways when I saw it and of course I figured since I was gonna make a mailbox I wanted to fill it with goodies and I wanted to add some um, embellishments to it so I pulled out this punch by Martha Stewart I made some little dimensional snowflakes, super easy. Just stack them and put a crystal in the middle. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna put these yet, but they're gonna go here somewhere. <clears throat> so I made three of those, and I wanted to make some of these bows. Aren't these cute. So these are the gingerbread bows. This is also a KS Craft um, die. I think this is the small size. I don't think this is the large one. I think this is the small one. And I, I bought some cabochons off of AliExpress. This is the, the baggie here. I know I hauled these a little while ago, but they had uh, two different little gingies you can put in the middle. But yeah, I think this is super cute. Um, and then I'm using some crepe paper, the sewn crepe paper that I got from Sparkling Ghoul, I think last year. So it was like a pastel set. So that is my share for today. I plan on making kind of like a um, like a, a challenge project, you know, where you make the bows and the bag toppers and all that. So I thought I would do it in a pastel purple themed, gingerbread theme, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. But <laughs> right now, right now, this is as far as I got because the, the mailbox itself took a little while to... Um, to like alter the file itself to make sure that the score marks weren't going to cut through and all that kind of stuff. So once I have that set, I'm going to save it and I'll have it forever now. But um, yeah, so those are my makes for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.